everyone, nice. and welcome back to the Speedathon. I'm here with Elena doing the Silent Spy. Elena, can you introduce yourself and your incentives for this run? Yeah, hi, I'm Elena, and uh, yeah, so I live in Scotland, which is why uh, I wanted to do this game. Um, and my incentives are that if you donate $15, um, I will share a Scottish food with you. So I have technically 10 different choices for people. Um, and some of them are even featured in the game today. So I figured, uh, yeah, I could do a little show and tell. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Are we ready? <laughs> I think so. I'm so nervous, guys. <laughs> I've never, I've literally never streamed anything before. So... Here we go. <gasps> okay, Thanks. click new game, and I'll hover your cursor, and we're gonna start right. in three, two, one, go. Okay, so this game is fascinating. It starts. <laughs> this is a very interesting game. It starts with a flashback. It does, and the national an animal of Scotland, the unicorn. Oh. You know, I, I guess that that might be a little Easter egg that they were trying to do there. Hmm. Oh, it looks like someone has started another matching um, thingy. I don't know what that means, but I think it means there's a 2x donation match in progress. I'll call you. Donation match. So, like, if somebody donates somebody's going to match it and then donate that thing as well? I think so. <laughs> Look at us getting money. Money. Money, please. Okay. This is where mom is in the picture. Okay, now what? Hmm. Also, it like cracks me up, but I don't think we ever like, why does Nancy get mugged there? Oh, we got $20 from Hotch Kiss My Haggis that says snack, snack, oh, nice. snack. Oh, cool. Should I wait until, like, one of the many yeah. crazy cutscenes, like the super long ones? Yes. Okay. Can do. Can do. <laughs> Alyssa, so real is the, running this because the flashbacks give you time to relax your poor EDS hands. Same though. That's how I feel about, yeah. um, uh, actually Danger on Deception Island. There are a lot of like, just long conversations that I can just like stretch my hands. Do I know you? Hmm. You do not. Okay. Well, we're getting an echo on the game audio. Oh no. Uh, it's, Let me see. It's okay. Just you keep doing you. I might end okay. up muting the game audio for a bit until there's a time okay. when you can take a stop to figure it out. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm like, yeah, I'm not very good at techie things. And so, so sorry, guys. You have something in can you tell me a little? Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt she could tell us a little bit about Scotland. Fake Scottish person is what she is. Okay, everyone, a... let's rate all of the accents in this game. Mm. So, Elena, you're in Scotland, so you're going to be in my. Oh no! In my opinion, you're going. You're gonna give us some. Uh, some good stuff uh, um on a scale of one to five bridget oh jeez uh she's probably like a one. a one she is yeah. like so bad um probably alec is like the best but he the best is probably like a six mm. um yeah like it's like not uh i can tell that they're trying to um like there are certain there are certain moments 
where um, Alec and Ewan, I can tell they're trying to sound like David Tennant. Yes. Um, Literally. But, especially Ewan. But, <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, um, I can tell that's what you're going for and not actually a Scottish accent. Um, and so, anyway, and there's just, you know, there's so many, like, varying Scottish accents as well. Yeah. Uh, and so... Um, I also would like to say we got $20 donation from Ragnar that says, I want to see the snacks. <laughs> also, yeah, aren't they, where yeah. are they supposed to be? Aren't they supposed to be in Glos uh, Glasgow? Yeah, they're supposed to be in Glasgow, which Glasgow, is like. Glasgow, I apologize. Oh, no, sorry. But all of their I accents mean, are really light. she says. <laughs> yeah. Much more well, Edinburgh. I think you found your friend. Definitely. Your partner is from the UK, isn't he? Yes, he is, but the very, he's from uh, Wales and Eng like the Wale Welsh English border. So a different fun accent, mm. but he doesn't Bye -bye. have that accent. He has a very middle of like, if you think about English accent that isn't just posh or London, that's his accent. Right. Mm. You hear it so and you like go, oh. Northern. Just, you know? Does he say a uh, prayer in chair, like in a way that it rhymes? You know, I don't think I've ever asked him to say those two words together. <laughs> you haven't asked him that super specific thing? I haven't, no. Um, <laughs> I think the, the, to me, the funniest thing he does is he will start things with, hey, yep. Hey, yep. Ah. <laughs> so and I'm cool. like, you're not Northern enough for that. Mm. <laughs> you in Scotland? I love making my British coworker say words. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Can you just say words? That's so funny. Great. That's one of the things on your list. There. So we work. Um, me and my husband. We work with youth here in Scotland, and um, I. Uh, knock on the door again uh they said that my husband's accent is like a true american accent and my accent sounds like um like tv american accent i get that i don't, I don't know what that means but apparently i have an american accent that's very tv good news i also yeah. i actually know what that means um, because, what does it mean? Explain it. So, uh, my degree, my undergrad, oh, I is in Spanish and linguistics, I so I can talk a lot That's about right. dialects and uh, linguistics yeah. for so long. Um, right. But like the TV American accent is what I also have. Um, it is like a Western mm. U.S. dialect. Um, are, right I'm going to guess you're somewhere. You're from somewhere west of the Mississippi. Is this true? Okay. <laughs> I was born in St. Louis, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> so, yes. Um, like, very specifically, yes. <laughs> it was in the West. So, it's fun. Yeah, um, nice. Actually, the funniest thing with my accent was when um, my husband was still in university um, in Wales. Right. He went, uh, he was in Cardiff. We went, uh, when I visited him one time, we went to an American themed restaurant and they were all so oh. excited to hear my accent oh. and that I was ordering stuff. They were just, so and, and to them, the funniest, like the most American thing I did was ask for a to go box because mm. the rest of the Instead world of doesn't really box. do that. Yeah. Like they just, mm. they were just like, wow, an actual American wanting a to go <laughs> box. <gasps> That's right. I was so sick. You must trip. eat all of your Chinese and like the little Chinese takeaway boxes, like in Friends. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. I feel like I, all of my friends here are obsessed with Friends. Like That's they hilarious. love Friends so much, and I'm like, I don't. It's all right. It's all right. It's not my favorite, but whatever. Okay, who wants a snack? Uh, yeah, we have two snacks. Well, we have two snacks. 
Well, first off, this is definitely more than a snack, but um, right before this stream, I microwaved some haggis right here. Um, it is technically illegal to import this to America. I think that was like established in the 70s, but I have it in my hands right now and it's like no, no. liver, lungs, you made me a promise. Uh, lamb, grinded up oatmeal, spices, and it's actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, and since we have another donation, this is Neeps and Taddies. Um, and you pretty much, you put the haggis on top of it. Here, let me do this really quick before I continue. You put it all together, and then you take a little bite. Wow. Oh. How it is in the Pintatis, guys. Anyway, back to business. Yeah. Oh, people talking about other people talking about their accents, saying like their French accent was excellent. Uh, <laughs> expect that since she'd taken French, my parents were like, she never took French before. Uh, right. <laughs> um, and. The other one was I was talking I was once talking to some French Canadians who said my French accent is very good and I still don't know how to feel about this. I do not speak French. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh That's Lauren's very funny. brother is in chat. And being like, I have never heard this story before that <laughs> the one she just told about the teacher. <laughs> That's so funny. I really funny. my funny joke about that, not joke, but story is oh. I was in Argentina and I was um at just like I was helping someone order food in Spanish and the woman mm -hmm. I was the I was talking to, she's like, Oh, where are you from? Um, all in Spanish. And I was like, Oh, I'm from the United States. Um and she's like, mm. No, where are you from? And I was like, the United States. And she goes, she just like sighs. And I'm like, I'm from San Diego, which is like 20 minutes from the border with Tijuana. And she goes, oh, you're from Mexico. I was like, what? okay. <laughs> she was trying to place How my did accent. You, did you just stare at her? I mean, she <laughs> Not just, knowing I, what to say? I just, I didn't understand which, why she was saying that because Oh, it was you're just, from Mexico. Well, it's, I think she was trying to place my accent. And I speak right. Mexican Spanish because I'm from the border. Oh, I so, see, I see. So it was just really right. funny that she just was not accepting. She's like, no, mm -hmm. come on. Yeah, you don't understand. Oh, did I flip through that book? I don't think I flipped through that book, but it still let me... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're just gonna... All right, Ned Stiffer. Less than 100, well, 100, let's go with that word instead. Less than $100 away from unlocking that PC Wii race of the hidden theft. Oh, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Mandy's in chat making fun of me. What is she saying? One hundred. Hundred. <laughs> hundred. <laughs> We're trying to switch up our accents now. Oh, yes, I'm just trying to confuse people about where I'm from. <laughs> Are you from Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> On... <laughs> Solo en español. <laughs> oh, oh when we cross two K, Tober is going to post a photo oh, of his we in the discord oh, uh, Tober is we. of course the person who will be racing Hoss ki Hotch kiss my booty What's that? I think this is the part where mm -hmm. I judge uh, Nancy for judging Bridget like she's literally standing like staring at a random person through their window <laughs> and like it looks like Bridget's just trying to find a Wi-Fi signal. And she's <laughs> like, that is not normal. <laughs> okay. okay, Nancy. It's funny though. <laughs> it's like oh, when she watches um Lewis in um Nessa Jenna Haunted Mansion. You and all he's doing... She watches people. 
All he's doing is he's just like looking through the library and she's like, what is he up to? It's like, Nancy, do you That's know what right. libraries are for? <laughs> that is not normal, she says. See you around. Bye. Bye. Ah, yes, in the library. <laughs> in the library. No. Like this, stop messing with that. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'll let you go. Bye. <laughs> I read it in a book. Is banned from chat by Rose Green. <laughs> exactly. We have ten dollars from JCat. Ten dollars for Aww. Bridget trying to find a Wi-Fi signal suspiciously. Mm-hmm. JCat's going after me, right? <laughs> um, I wish I remembered the schedule. Um, no, mm. next up we will have Abby with Secret of Shadow Ranch. And then it'll be JCat <gasps> and AGB. Um, basic, but that is my favorite game. Shadow Amazingly, Ranch. this is not my favorite game. <laughs> Shadow Ranch is your favorite game? Yes, it is. Mine too. It sure is. Sure is. Yep. I'll be missing Dirk Valentine. Everybody's crushing on Dave when I'm like, Dirk Valentine is so nice in my brain. Um, what about crushing on Mary Ozzy? Because that was me. <laughs> it's like, oh man, all these beads. She can support me. I'm just, you know. She has hobbies. She's, you know. Right. Honestly, somehow one of the um mm -hmm. one of the like more fleshed out female characters in <laughs> the games <laughs> oh my gosh well she's the only one in that game oh no you're totally like, right though uh mary being like... voiced by a white woman okay i've also done the math and <laughs> almost all Ooh. of the voice actors are like who it's a it's a it's not a pretty picture I have to say, yeah. I've made charts. Do you know graphs. what? <laughs> Do you know what? Though, even like in this game, I'm like, when Ewan speaks, all I hear is Rentero. Like, yep. it's yeah, it's not good. Poor guy. Poor guy. Uh, Early, nope, though. that wasn't it. Um, this is probably where I would disassociate and just like not talk to anybody because this someone wants puzzle. to see the i have an entire um a, a, whatchamacallit spreadsheet that talks about the voice actors google sheet oh yeah google sheet <laughs> it talks Forget about the, excel it talks about like talk you know the race and ethnicity of the voice actors versus their characters just the characters in general all of the voice actors um whether or not they match the ethnicity of the person that they are um right playing and then we also did uh looked at the race at race and ethnicity of culprits across the games and thankfully okay. that's not that's not bad <laughs> Right. Ooh. Mainly, what what was like the top, um, like characteristics of the culprits? The top characteristics, uh, mm -hmm. mostly just like... white. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> just seventy nine point four percent. But that's because all of the characters, seventy three point two percent of them are white. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Correlation causation, as they say. Yep. I was so nervous that I was going to just like mentally blank out on that. Was, like... <laughs> like, I was really like kind of sad that I was going after um, uh, Water's Edge because, mm -hmm. oh crap. I might have to make a cookie now. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> here sweet. we go. Oh, gosh. 
Oh, fooey indeed. Um, because you know, Steve was like doing all these master nonograms, and I'm gonna like be fumbling a um, oh, yep, here we go. Time to make some cookies. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be fumbling like this, being like, oh, whoops, can't do it. And make some cookies. Order shows up now. Make it look exactly like shown. You know what? I have a themed snack that goes with this one. So people should definitely donate. It's true. You gotta you gotta give her some snacks for this run. That didn't work out. <laughs> oh my word. It's gonna be so silly. There we go. Right? How much money do I have? Um, yes, I am gonna make another. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Um, do do do. My question for everyone, do these cookies look good, yes or no? They look like raw dough, don't they? I agree. <laughs> Just raw dough. Oh my gosh. I thought I got all like the coins that I needed though. I got like so many coins. Oh, but then I spent it all on something I didn't need. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that bit. Sorry, guys. You're good. If people, this is the perfect time for people to donate so that she can have a little snack as a, right after she's done. I'm so hungry right now, guys. So hungry. Somebody feed Elena. So, exactly. This is like mm -hmm. feed Elena. Give her something. That's right. How was my mom and... Uh, do you have anything to help me understand my mom? Okay. Okay, do we have any more donations and stuff? We don't right now. Well, to be well, fair, to be fair, you to do starve. get to eat, you do get to eat more of your haggis and, um, <laughs> meeps right. and tatties? My meeps and tatties, guys. I don't want to do ASMR. <laughs> uh, gross. I was just saying that, like, I was talking to some people at work about, um, about, like, ASMR videos and stuff that they like, and I was just saying mm. I cannot. Um, I, like, literally cannot deal with eating noises oh yeah i don't understand that i also just don't I like did... the talk. <laughs> mm. like the whisper that makes me scared <laughs> Same the, wh though. The, the whispering makes me very scared <laughs> i like i like the girl um who does like um the oh it's not frontier patriot it's like early american or something and mm -hmm. she makes recipes from like the 1800s and stuff in this cabin and it's so nice like it's so good and cozy and happy we just got 25 dollars from care bear uh who says cookies yeah. cookies Oh man, and do I have some biscuits for you? Ah, uh, yes, because in the UK they're biscuits. Which... They do have mm -hmm. like cookies here. Oh yeah, like for sale. Like it's like a you go to a Costa, uh, Costa and it's like. <laughs> Oh, we have chocolate chip cookies, American chocolate chip cookies, and it's like, ah, oh, 
Well, good for you. Ah, yes. Cost of uh, coffee. That costs a fortune. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Exactly. And digestives. It's... Yes. Mm -hmm. Digestive biscuits. I have some digestives. Oh, my goodness. That's that's not a part of my spread right now, but I do have some digestives in the pantry. Yeah, it's a chocolate-covered digestives. A plus. Yeah. Those are so good. We really like the digestives that are like chocolate covered, but it's like caramel in the middle as well. <gasps> oh, they're so lovely. We have unlocked a giveaway for a copy of uh, Girl Sleuth, Nancy Drew, and the woman who created, and the woman who created her. Um, so it is that really cool book um, about like the creation of Nancy Drew. Uh, so if you guys would like to be entered into that. Uh, type hashtag giveaway in chat. Whoa! 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 <laughs> I just started at the same time. <laughs> just... Oh! It... Whoa! It's one of those things where you just, you hear it and you have to immediately say it afterwards. <laughs> oh gosh. There are just some Nancy lines that I always repeat. Yes. Yes. Ooh, we're thir less than $30 from that race tonight. Hi, Nancy. I mean, if you donate $30, then Elena gets to eat and we get the race. I'm just saying. That's right. People just don't want to be jealous of my snack. Oh wait, it's no, true. I need to get. So you do something. have, you do get to eat a snack because someone did donate. So. You're just real mean. Yeah, we need to do, do this next cutscene, don't we? So that I can eat something. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's up? Oh, you can tell me about the wishes. Whoa. Whoa. Like, that was retro. <laughs> that was totally what retro. Yep. I mean, it's the same voice actors for everything. Yeah. Have you seen that one video on YouTube that's, like, a couple hours long, and it's just like the voice actor and what they're known for like from the nancy drew games i have not that sounds like a really cool it, thing though it was one of those things where um you know it's like oh i need to wash the dishes time to find something to listen to yeah so yeah i always need like i do lots of video essay watching oh well guess what we just got a 30 dollar donation from anaya falcon who says snacks Aww. which means we have <laughs> unlocked that race tonight very excited and also it also means elena gets to eat more which we're also very excited about Ever. <laughs> oh, do do do. Hot kiss my booty is talking smack in chat. As they are the person racing Tober. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's very excited. Me too. So we are breaking things now. So, yeah. Whatever. So it's so it's a Wii game mm -hmm. and it's Hardy Boys? Yes. So wow. it is a Hardy Boys game that they then that's a PC game that then got ported to the Wii. And so one person oh. one person is going to be playing it on PC and the other person is going to be playing it on Wii. We also just got twenty five dollars so from Mutant Pudding. So that's three snacks when you get a time. Aww. Thanks, guys. Feeding me. It's so nice. Was there a... 
Uh, never mind. I think there was, but it I took too long to like look for it. Oh, I'm being corrected in chat. It was a Wii game that then got ported to PC. That feels so 2006. Yeah, I oh, think it's a 2008 really game, so it. yes. Mm. I was 12. No, it was released on PC a year before the Wii. Okay, we're getting fact-checking mm. in chat. Thank you. Appreciated. Who's doing PC? Who's doing um, Wii? Hotchkiss My Booty is going to be doing it on PC, and mm. Tober is going to be playing it on the Wii. Done. I'll give it some time, then check in with a program to have Whatever. <laughs> Nancy, we're trying to speedrun here. Please stop talking. All the thinking out loud. Yeah. Maybe that's where we all got it. Did I grab those? Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, gosh. Not let you ain't touch me. I told my brother, like, I would be so embarrassed if I got a second chance on this game. And then he was like, you should just go for it for the relatable content. And I was like, no. <laughs> I can't. Ooh, we have a new incentive for today. If we reach 2,500 by the end of the day, Sadie Sweet will make a dice bag with a Nancy silhouette in the pride colors of the winner's choosing. That's exciting. You can make a dice bag? Like a crocheted? What is it made out of? Um, it is sewn. Bag. So it is um, a, it's, the fabric is embroidered and then sewn together to oh, make the oh. dice bag, which is really cool. It is really cool. Do, do, do. Oh, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. The simpler the puzzle, the more stressed out I get. I understand that. You know, because you just don't want to look so silly. Yeah. It's sized oh boy, to can fit I a look standard silly. sized tarot deck, too. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Could you imagine getting, like, no hate, but could you imagine getting your tarot read from, like, <laughs> oh, allow me. We just need to all come together and make a Nancy Drew-themed tarot deck. Oh, Artists, no. let's do this. Oh, oh my goodness. I went to a tarot session and brought out my Nancy Drew tarot deck. And I had to explain the games. You have a Nancy Drew tarot deck? That's a real thing? That's they said, speaking of Nancy Drew tarot decks. Oh my gosh. Kate Booty. Kate Booty. Oh, Tina made it. Oh, right. I forgot about that. I'm not sure she did anything yes. other than a limited run. That's, yeah. Right? Yes. Oh, that's really, really cool. These letters must be one of her codes. Hmm. Might be one of her codes. Amazing that it goes from goes uh, only A through uh, G. I wonder what that means. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, we got thirty-five dollars from Steve, which is Saw is game twenty-three. 
So two plus three equals five. Seven beautiful works of art that belong in the Louvre. Five times seven equals 35. What language are they trying to speak to me right now? So he's saying that he's multiplying <laughs> the, the numbers that make up the game by how many drawings he had to do during his run. And oh, 35. I see, I see. Mm. Just pulling out all the math on this Saturday. Well, now it's afternoon for me. But some of you guys, it's, some of you guys, it's still morning. <laughs> and I salute you for being here. That's right. Oh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Why aren't my eyes working right now? Like for real, this is one of my favorite puzzles in the game. No. It's I, so nice. Don't you love a good symbol? I really do. <laughs> I, you know, I love decoding things. It's one of my favorite things mm. to do. Um... I think that's why I like Wordle so much. Because mm. it kind of feels like that kind of thing. Yes. This goes here. This goes here. <laughs> this goes here. <laughs> One of my favorite Nancy quotes, truly. I don't even remember where that's from. Um, I don't remember either. Wait, no, no, no. It is Catch! the the <laughs> sink puzzle. It's the sink puzzle in um Danger on Deception Island. I'm pretty sure, mm. or it's Caddy. I'm pretty sure it's Danger on Deception Island. This goes. I need the sheet music. You were too rude to Ned. <laughs> Keys at the end of Shadow Ranch, too. Okay. That's that probably... Well. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Everyone turn down your speakers, because I'm about to still play the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> like, legit. Like, everyone turn down your speak. Apparently, <laughs> oh, if we gosh. reach that $500 threshold, someone is going to match that $500 automatically. That's exciting. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I don't know what it is about bagpipes that just, I can't do it. Mm. Um, it's one yeah. of those noises that I don't, I'm not able. What are you talking about? It's so, <laughs> it's so <laughs> soothing. Oh yeah, de de definitely. <laughs> no one roasts me in chat, soothing. but it is one of my least favorite noises <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> well, definitely don't come to Edinburgh because they're just, the pipers are everywhere because it's like, you know, it's it's like a bagpipe supposed to be played on you know like a mountain or something, but yeah. no, there's just up and down the Royal Mile are the pipers. So if you ever forget that you're in Scotland, <laughs> they will remind you for sure. Team Crazy Matt says someone make a bagpipes cover of Kate's theme. Yes, yes, I did that on um, my piano on my keyboard. <laughs> Which Aww. is, it's a really fun song to play, to be honest. That's a coda. That's a coda, Laura. <laughs> For real, Nancy? Are you real? I love Are you her. For sure? I love her so much. <laughs> That's a coda, all right. <laughs> That's a coda, all right. I mean, like. Oh my goodness. Valid, I guess. Yeah. I like bab bagpipes because they remind me of one of my favorite episodes of Scooby-Doo with the evil bagpipe ghost. <laughs> we have those everywhere here. <laughs> bagpipe ghosts? Bagpipe ghosts are just... No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I don't have a cool ghost story like from before. Uh, only. Apparently, though, Edinburgh is like... I mean, understandably, it's one of, like, the most haunted, like, cities in Europe for, mm. um, like, 
which makes sense. Um, like you'll be walking down the street and um, it's like, oh yeah, somebody was hanged here. Yeah. And then you just go along your merry way. It's like, oh yep. my word. Okay. I, um, I love haunted things. Um, I don't really believe in ghosts, but I love haunted things in general. <laughs> And my husband mm. and I go on road trips. One of our favorite things is pointing out haunted barns. Barns that are Ugh. obviously haunted. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, you yeah. go down and you're like, no, that's that one's haunted. Definitely mm -hmm. haunted, that one. <laughs> oh, man. Come on now. Parn. <laughs> Why is a raven like a writing desk? Because the raven follow the raven to the archive. Uh, cheeky Kate. I almost cosplayed as Kate, but it wasn't in the budget. Mm, valid. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder what I'd look like as a redhead. <laughs> and then I was like, no. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> I love doing this part because I feel like one of those, like, I'm going into the mainframe. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I'm yes. in, guys. <laughs> Parnitha. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Riley Pool. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love this bit, anyway. Like, no matter what, it's fun. Honestly, I think this yeah. game, I love this game for a lot of reasons, but my biggest thing that I love about it is that it uses the Jabberwock mm. um, as like a plot point. And Ariana, my sister and I, when we were younger, were absolutely obsessed with um, that poem. She even, she memorized it for a class in seventh grade and I helped her memorize it. So we would just say it to each other. What? Um, That's cool. Just, you know, a 10 year old and a 13 year old just quoting the Jabberwock to each other. No big deal. So how did you respond when you saw it was in here? Like, we, we were just so like... excited. You have no idea. Aww. We were like, yes. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh man. It's a lot of fun. We wear the jacket. You know walk. what? I do love listening to your guys' podcast and just talk oh. about like being sisters and things and like playing these games. Because it's like that I'm like one of, I'm the middle child of five and I have three sisters. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's like. Mm. So many good sibling happy things. Yeah. I love hearing about the people like who played the games with like their parents or with their siblings yes. or with their cousins. I love that. It makes me so happy. Yes. Mom definitely hit a code in Jabberwocky. What? She hit a code in Jabberwocky? Are you She definitely did. <laughs> she definitely did. Yep, that's a code. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. It's, I, and sometimes I'll say it because I work with infants. Um, and sometimes mm. you just have to say things to make them like chill out. Um, right. and sometimes that's just read, like saying poems or Shakespearean monologues sometimes. That's so cool. Um, and, um, I have a couple of their books memorized. So if anyone wants to hear Llama Llama mm. Red Pajama read by memory, feel free oh, to drop nice. a, a pretty, uh, let's say, $45. $1,000. $45, and I will I read know, you guys. I don't know, the last time someone offered a prize for $1,000. <laughs> Hi, Veronica. Hi, I'm here to save you from reading donations. I'm chilling. Aww. 
But you can read donations. I'll continue to be the co-host. Thank you, guys. Helping me out. This is Nancy. Calling absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, positively. Yes. Yes. All right. Is this a cutscene? It's a cutscene. You have three snacks to eat. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are jammy dodgers. And oh, they're yeah. pretty much what these little jam cookies are based off of. And these are arguably like my favorite UK snack. Oh. I will move on to the next thing. I did make some Kranikin, which you can buy in this game. Um, and it's granola, raspberries, uh, cream, and honey. And then there's a little bit. There's a, a wee dram in here, so it's a <laughs> true Scottish Scottish treat. And I also have some iron brew, which oh. is the drink of choice for uh, the Scotsman. It's actually, I think in Scotland, Scotland's one of the, like, I think the only country in the world where another soda is more popular than Coca-Cola, and that's iron brew. So, wow. Slancha. So yeah, nailed it. Okay, now I got to go. Away. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, Iron Brew. <laughs> it's not my favorite. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Flash okay. Um, anyone in chat who uh, is working on a craft, I would love to hear your update. Craft update. This wasn't me. This wasn't me. This Run to the elevator. What's going on? I mean, this game technically has guns in it, right? No. <laughs> it's just firecrackers. It's sound effects. This is, this is going to be bad. bad. It goes... <laughs> this is going to be bad. Oh. Ah. Oh. I hate that part. <laughs> he goes, ah, ooh, ah, <laughs> <laughs> But it is like canonically, those are just sound effects. Canonically. Canonically, it is. I mean, and we see it with like the the laser pen set up and stuff. Is this a laser pointer? Yeah, I mean, see, which like no wow. weapons. Great stealing that from Psych episode. Um, Oh, which, which episode is that? An Evening with Mr. Yang? Oh, oh yes. The first episode of that show. It was pretty <gasps> good. Psych is one of my like favorites. The first time in your life? Huh? Like that? Like the first time in your life? Yep. Wow. <gasps> okay. Oh, get ready to have your life changed. It's one of my, it's literally like everyone is allowed one copaganda show, and that is my <laughs> copaganda <laughs> show. Truly. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna watch another episode. You should. A little on the fence. Um, the first two seasons are immaculate. Um, and there is one episode oh, where good. if you don't know that James Roday, the main who plays Sean, is actually, um, he's actually Hispanic. So it might be weird if you see that not knowing that and you think he's just like fully white. Um, because they do have him, like, pretending to speak Spanish and stuff. And I know for a lot of people that's a weird, like, oh, uh, no, but no, it's okay. They just make him stay out of the sun to pretend to be white in that show, I guess. So in the first season, you can tell more. But it's fascinating. I love that you show. Carol raises a salient point in the chat. I'm supposed to continue watching the Saw series with her. Mm, that's true. 
we did get through the first movie, and it was not what I expected, but mm. I enjoyed it. I've never watched any of the Saw movies. It was not gory. The first one is like a thriller. Okay. It was very thriller. Speaking of Carrie Ellis, though, he's in Psych. He is. And he's so good. He is. He chose the scenery. He understood the assignment. It's so good. He, I love- I wanted, I want to say things right now, but it's like, yeah. I don't want to ruin it for you because you're just starting Psych, but, uh It's yes. true. Everyone think, yeah. was in Psych. Mm hmm Gosh. Yes. What a great show. Carol, do I need to have watched other movies in the series to understand the Saw musical? Because the Saw musical oh sounds great. There's something written on these cards? What? There's something written on these cards. Fancy, for real? This is another one of those really embarrassing puzzles for me where I'm like, my brain does not work. I'm like, what? How you do know, you put maybe, a puzzle together? <laughs> maybe if we get to 3,000 today, <laughs> uh, Carol will host a watch party. No, watch parties don't <laughs> exist anymore. Oh, we got $20 from Van, uh, who says, oh, I'm sorry, you're in charge of donations now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your turn was so on top of it. You it know was. what? I wasn't paying attention, so. Good news. <laughs> it's okay. I wouldn't have known about it. Okay, yes. Van donated $20. Said, when will Nancy travel to Transylvania to investigate vampire activity? Exactly. Just like Dracula. Um, yeah, who takes. Resurrection. Who? I want to know who here um, partakes in Daily Dracula. I want to know who has played the Dracula PC game. Daily Dracula. Daily Dracula is where you read Dracula, but it's um, it gets sent to your email for each um, of the, like, each day. Uh, where, because the whole thing is written in letters and diary format, and they all have dates. So Daily, da oh, Daily Dracula true. sends you those entries Stop. on the dates, and it's so fun. <laughs> oh, that does sound like fun. I I did the first half, like back when it was. No one look at this. <laughs> no one look. Okay, good news. <laughs> no one look, please. We'll just talk about Dracula instead. Yeah, please do. Please talk about Dracula instead. Okay, so the first Dracula PC game from 1999 was, like, pretty good. Like, the environments look great. Like, it was, like, a pretty fun game. What? Dracula 2. The Last Sanctuary. That's not... Awful. It's, not it's the only game on my channel so far that I haven't been able to finish. I just oh. continued it. Because after, NF. like four or five streams I like I had to I was following the walkthrough at that point uh which I really try not to do but I found out I was only halfway through the game oh my gosh and I was yeah. like I can't do this anymore there are a couple of games I've uh I just haven't finished on stream because I just didn't want to just be playing from a walkthrough because that to me is just not fun yeah, no. Not me, like, playing through a walkthrough right now, actually. That's different. Speedrunning is different. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. When I heard that people, like, used notes and walkthroughs for speedruns, I was so thankful. I was like, what? You do? Like, that's how... What is that like, popping noise? Okay, it's not on my end. Good. I was like looking at my oh, yeah. Oh, no, no I'm, I'm watching Elena's be. thing turn green every time there's oh, a pop. Okay. Yeah, it is popping pretty bad. When you're done oh. with this puzzle, we might um. Yeah. Okay. Now, now she's not turning green. 
maybe but the pop not. i guess maybe it's from the stream not her micro okay i muted the game audio and that fixed it so okay. i'm sorry everyone we're not going to listen to nancy for the rest of the run because that was i have bad news i'm still hearing popping on my end <laughs> You need to okay. mute. Oh. You need to mute the game as well. You mute the okay. game audio. I was. I would, I had, sorry. I had a brain fart. No worries. Um. Yes. Whew. Oh my god. Are we talking about Tons the Vampire? I also couldn't get through that musical. Oh no. I just like that one video. There's this one guy who was in one of the productions who does a lot of TikTok dances in costume. Oh, I see. Uh, I really like that guy. Oh. Uh, That's good. Um, yeah, no. I'm sad that we're not hearing the music for this, because I do, in fact, love this. Sing like, it, Risa. It's so good. Uh, also, this part does make me laugh, though. Uh, Go home, Nancy. <laughs> oh, yes. Have we talked about bagpipes? Yes, we talked about bagpipes, and I'm sorry. I. What's your opinion? She loves bagpipes. I love bagpipes. Oh, I used to play a snare drum for a Scottish pipe band. Oh. And when you hear bagpipes played correctly, it is mm. such. A world of that difference. Does, that does help, does it? The, yeah, they, uh, they are a very difficult instrument to play. Hmm. Okay. Well, a difficult instrument to play well. Yeah, I mean the, because you have the the chanter part, mm -hmm. and then you have like the 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 bag part, mm -hmm. like the drones. Yeah. Um. And they have to manage both of those. Mm -hmm. um, the hardest part about playing the drums is just carrying the drum. Oh, okay. If you can do that, you know, everything else is kind of secondary. <laughs> I want to know what instruments people uh, at the stream play. I play the ukulele and the piano. What I'm like... Like, play well? No, not well, because I don't play the ukulele well. Oh. I just play it. <laughs> well, great. Oh, I, um, I'm not strong. Not wanting to carry the drums is one of the reasons why I'm not <laughs> in pipe band anymore. Mm. Amazing. So, I have been known to play electric guitar and bass. Ooh. 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 Play bass, yeah, guitar, ukulele, mandolin, and piano all badly. <laughs> Did anyone else spend more than 50% of their public school career in choir? No, but um, my mom was my choir teacher. Oh boy. Yeah, that was great. My husband was in an a cappella group. Oh, he was absolutely. I think he's in the. He might be in the chat right now. He should join my acapella rendition of uh, the Nancy Drew theme that I'm putting together. There you go. Um, especially since oh, we need someone to do the lower notes. So, do you know what? He has been waiting for you to ask him. <laughs> he's just been absolutely waiting. I knew it. Perfect. I yeah. I gotta say, choir was not that great, um, but you <laughs> learned how to sing. Uh, yeah, I also was in theater. Did voice lessons and stuff for that, which was always fun. <laughs> and mostly, I use my voice now to sing babies to sleep. Aww. Let's go the theater most kids. <laughs> most important use. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Go inside. And everyone's saying that I should go to sleep. I'm not oh. sleepy like I need to go to sleep. I'm sleepy. Sleep. 
<laughs> I'm sleepy like I just woke up, even though I woke up two hours ago. My homeschool group did one play and it did not give me an adequate theater experience. Um, I love the um, other homeschooling. Um, I was homeschooled for middle and high school because of like medical stuff. So it's always nice seeing other uh, pe former homeschool kids who also turned out to be weird like me. <laughs> well, wait till I tell you, I was homeschooled from literally preschool all the way up until my senior year of high school. See? We're all here we are. Together. Here we are. And here we are raising oh, money no. for charity. So really raising money yeah, man. for charity. Speaking of money, um, I have an important announcement for the chat. Um okay. donate more of it. Oh yeah. yeah right announcement. Like... I have like so many snacks right now. <laughs> And we turned oh. out great. Y you know, despite. <laughs> this is my house. I am not homeless. And this is like so much talking. It really is. But um, no one can hear it because it was popping. So I turned it. I muted it. Um, I can try unmuting That's it to okay. see if it fixes it. Yeah, okay, let's see if it's it's still popping in you a tell bad me. way. You tell me, Veronica, before I unmute it. I have intel that says his team was able to produce enough. I'm not hearing popping. Okay, then I will unmute it. So it is. Maybe it was just the firecrackers again. In real life. That's, Elena, that's your secret incentive? You got someone to, like, fake swat you in real life? <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> it's a real attack. <laughs> oh, but, um, yes, at, uh, just as a reminder, at 2500, there is the pride dice bag. So Yeah, donate for that, um, because I want to see what it will look like. Agreed. Time to make sure you and can't escape. Time to make sure you and can't escape. I'm seeing some... Ma'am, like, why do you say that? Why do you say it like that? <laughs> she oh, just like, feels dramatic. Friend, I made a cool picture. Um, I'm not sure if oh, it God. made its way into the in-between runs slideshow. It is in, in, the, it is in the in-between runs slideshow. Just yeah, you just gotta wait until after this run is done and then wait for it to show up and then you'll see it. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite part of this game. Because it's like she's got the group chat on her glasses. Um, everyone's just kind of like, you know, getting their two cents in. And it's like, why are you even here, Moira? Moira, why are you doing here? Like, Alex, giving, why are you here? It's giving Die Hard. I mean, the best part about Die Hard was that everyone, protagonist, antagonist, <laughs> random side character, they were all on the same voice call. Yeah. It's just, you know. Oh, and In congrats to Team there. Crazy Matt for winning the giveaway. Woohoo. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Oh, yes. I will be sending you a copy of Spy. It's mine, formerly Carol's. <laughs> copy. Wait a second. Yes. Oh. Speaking of people who love giveaways, we have a lot of giveaways for the next run. So look forward to that. Oh. Shadow Ranch? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, we have <laughs> something that I literally gave item. away. <laughs> another handmade item, which um, I'm wondering if I should move the goalposts for that one. Because I need to grab it so I can show it on stream. Yes. Because I think everyone's it's super duper be special. You've seen shawls. You've seen headbands slash ear warmers. You've seen scarves. You've seen dice bags. And you've seen gay dice bags. But have you seen <laughs> a coin purse? Not gay dice bags. <laughs> Not gay dice bags. <laughs> we 
haven't unlocked the gay dice bags yet. Hello, oh Raiders. My gosh. Hi, Raiders. Oh. Well, Abby is raiding oh. because Abby's going to be running the next game. Yes. Just in time to see the end of this run. Yeah. Which, honestly, I, I don't want to, like, scare you, but you're at hour three. I'm at what? One hour, three minutes. Oh. I was like, it's been three hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's yep, no you're way. an hour and a half over your time, so if you could, like, hurry it up, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's okay. And you didn't even say anything. It's my first time, guys. <laughs> what I don't like about this is that Zoe's like, um, you need to go faster, and she's just talking to me. Like, <laughs> like I can't go faster, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> like, jeez. Whatever. Ooh. I hate that. I hate the visual like noise that happens. <laughs> Not the visual noise. Oh man. This is actually like a, a fun puzzle, in my opinion. I like this. Yes, kind of this is like such a calming puzzle for a final puzzle. Yeah. It's See, just... I always say that about the med final puzzle, but then everyone else wants to be a hater. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other characters slowing you down by telling you to hurry is a true hallmark of this series. It is, though. <laughs> it's so true. Like, I'm literally about to defuse a bomb, and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> nice well, here we are okay. just stopped a terrorist attack guys you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome okay but you didn't do it fast enough according to zoe <laughs> i know Come I was on. talking the whole time oh never mind zoe says you did good <laughs> oh yes I'm so glad that's there over. There we go. I'm so nervous. One I'm hour, so six nervous. minutes. That's a pretty good time. Woohoo! Woo I didn't. I didn't look at what like the <laughs> stop. Where did that come from? Soundboard. <laughs> Discord has a soundboard feature. But, that is so funny. But yeah. Uh, uh so thank you so much cool. for this run. That was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of fun hearing about the different Scottish snacks you got to try. Yes. Um, is there anywhere you would like to plug for yourself? Like anywhere people can follow you? Or are you like, no, please do not perceive me? Well, do you know, I mean, yes. Um, I don't really have social media. Mm -hmm. um, I So yeah, I am a part of this Discord. So you guys could totally just be my friend on there and i'll probably tell you that you're great um but yeah that's about it <laughs> that's I about it <laughs> absolutely yeah. okay everyone stick around next up is secret of shadow ranch and we have a lot of really fun giveaway prizes for that yeah. so stay tuned